Wangina-type figures have been found which have halos, and some even have antennas coming from their heads. The halos and antennas could be a symbolic representation of the power of telepathy. Again, mirrored on the far side of planet Earth, thousands of miles from Australia, we see the same type of alien creatures with antennas depicted on rock art. These alien figures were carved onto the rocks thousands of years ago and are known as the Antenna People. Some authors have interpreted the mythologies of ancient Greece to infer that aliens from another world invaded and gave mankind the secrets to mathematics and astronomy. Greek mythology is full of strange alien type creatures and beings with supernatural powers and advanced technology. In 1900, the wreck of an ancient ship was found off the coast of Crete near the island of Antikythera. Divers found lumps of corroded bronze and took their find to Spiridon Stais at the National Archaeological Museum in Athens. Spiridon Stais discovered a complex and elegantly made mechanism, like the interior of an expensive handmade clock, inside the corroded lumps of bronze. In 1902, he proclaimed the object to be thousands of years old and called it the Antikythera Mechanism. 
In 1958, British scientist Dr. Derek de Soya Price studied the Antikythera mechanism and claimed it was a clockwork computer able to accurately predict the movement of stars and planets. The Antikythera mechanism is likely to have been made in the Hellenistic era of ancient Greece. No other ancient clockwork mechanism can be found in any other museum worldwide. Indeed, there is no mention of clockwork technology being used during this era anywhere on planet Earth. In 1971, the Antikythera mechanism was X-rayed and scientists were astounded to discover that there were complicated meshing gears, far more advanced and complicated than the clocks which were invented for maritime navigation in the 1500s. Dr. de Soya Price stated that the Antikythera mechanism was so sophisticated and ahead of its time that it was like discovering a jet airliner inside an ancient Egyptian tomb. The mechanism had clearly been owned by someone who kept its existence absolutely secret. For if the technologies displayed in the mechanism had been widely taught to ancient man, then the Industrial Revolution would have happened before the birth of Christ. planet Earth, archaeological evidence of alien invasions exists, none more so than in ancient Iraq, the country which gave birth to the Sumerian and Babylonian empires. 6,000 year old clay tablets tell of aliens invading from the stars who enslaved and genetically modified mankind. These alien gods were called the Anunnaki. There is evidence that alien invaders inspired ancient man to create electricity. Electricity was only discovered, or should we say rediscovered, 
in 1786 by the Italian Luigi Galvani. In 1936, Wilhelm Koenig discovered a clay vase in the vaults of the Baghdad Museum. The vase is thought to date from the Sumerian civilization, which predates the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Inside this ancient clay vase was a copper cylinder with an iron rod running through the center, capped with oxidized lead. Koenig immediately realized that this was an ancient battery. Egyptologist Dr. Arne Egbrecht discovered another so-called Baghdad battery during his expedition in Iraq. He poured grape juice into the vase and a voltometer immediately registered half a volt of electricity. Where did this notion of electricity thousands of years ago come from? Was it inspired by the technology brought to planet Earth by the Anunnaki aliens? According to figurines and legends in ancient Iraq, the Anunnaki were reptilian humanoids. They are depicted in ancient Sumerian art as suckling human babies to their reptilian breasts.